It is Monday, January 31st, and uh, don't want uh, Steely Dan taking some copyright from me. So I'm about to drive up to New York City, to Queens, Long Island City, to a hotel that I will be staying in for the next two weeks or so because I'm playing music on a cruise ship. It's been a pretty crazy January. I, uh, I started the year by getting COVID, and now I'm ending the month by pretty much packing up my entire life, and I'm going up to play dad rock on a cruise ship and the first thing i'm gonna do is driving through manhattan to get to queens because the number one thing i'm afraid of in life is driving through manhattan it's one in the afternoon i'm running a little late but i'd rather run late to get there and do nothing than hurry my ass up there and still do nothing because rehearsals start tomorrow also i would just like to point out that i never change this from daylight savings time and i won't have to this year because by the time i get back from this whole adventure um that will be the correct time it is This is the part I'm terrified of. I've made it into New York. I've officially driven through the Holland Tunnel. There's the Freedom Tower. Um, and now I'm scared. I'm scared shitless, but it's gonna have to happen. Okay, so I made it to New York City in one piece. The first thing I saw when I got to the hotel was a dude punching a telephone pole. So that, you know, welcome to New York. And I'm in the room. Let's check it out. This is my front door. That's the fridge. And I got this cool like kitchen area for all the food I'm gonna be cooking. Then we go into the bathroom here. It has a nice shower. A toilet, just like at home. <laughs> Bathroom door, it's gonna slide. And then this is uh, the rest of the room. So I got a nice couch, my guitar is on it currently. Got a nice little desk, get some content and work done while I'm here. Little other desk counter thing, that's my closet. And this is my view that I get to look at every day for the next two weeks or so. Okay, so I just met some of the band members, we got some dinner, and uh, now I gotta learn some tunes. Uh, let me run you through, I guess this is the little rig rundown. This is not the finished rig rundown, but this is sort of the rig rundown. I'm using a pedal board, which I haven't really done since I was in high school, but I figured I need to be versatile. So we got a polytune tuner, so I can stay in tune. You're not gonna be able to tell there's nothing plugged into it. Um, this is a great pedal, it's the Bogner Ecstasy Red Channel. What I like about it is this gain switch, because when I have it on low gain, it almost sounds like a like that shit rolling stones distortion if i set it properly and then this just absolutely rips we got the mxr eq for the cleans and then we got this chorus pedal specifically for message in a bottle and uh that's that and then the guitars i'm bringing of course we got the sg like i mean this is this is my guitar this is a guitar i've played more than half of every note i've ever played on so i have to bring that around the world with me for now i haven't actually decided what the next guitar is. When I run home this weekend, I will make the final decision. But for this week of rehearsals, I have the Les Paul with me. This is Queens. We went to a, uh, I guess if you walk down the corner of the block and then to the left, we went to this cool little hole in the wall BBQ place and I had a Cobb salad with, a, or iceberg salad with some brisket on it. It's a hard word to say. Nine songs, eight of them I know. Um, I'm gonna come back and learn the Joe Cocker one, or Joe Crocker, I don't know what his fucking name is. I'm a little nervous about memorizing lyrics because I suck at that, but that's just, I gotta listen to those, the three songs that I'm singing, I gotta listen to on loop tomorrow. Uh, I just draw the, I drew the shortest straw, and now I gotta sing Janis Joplin, so uh, fuck me. But uh, it'll be fun, it'll be good. You know what? If I can do Coheed, I can do Janis Joplin. That's not true at all, but that's what I'm gonna tell myself. Okay, so I just got back from this dope jam session at New Blue. I think that's the name of the club. It was wild. They started playing music and then people were just swapping in and out. And uh, it just went on and on and on. And it like no stop with the song. I'm nowhere near good enough to be playing on that stage. I'm, a, I'm just a simple rock and metal musician. And these guys are like monsters, but uh, it was really good. But now I'm exhausted and I have to get up. 
kind of soon to go get breakfast in the morning, which means I need to go to sleep now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. The first day was a success. I cannot believe I'm living in New York City for a couple weeks. This is like a dream come true. Oh, wow, you can see me in the reflection. But uh, yeah, I have a couple alarms set so I can get this, then I'm gonna get food and go to bed. We did the first rehearsal. Um, I met the whole band. It seems like there was a lot of really cool guys. No, it's a good time. Um, we ran the songs and um, we went to dinner. We got some sushi and uh, some ramen, I guess. Yeah, I talked to my friend Mike, one of the co-hosts of the Intelligent Pod. You can go subscribe to that on it, the whatever. I'm so tired. Um, and, there, and then I've just been sitting here shedding uh, the songs for tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna go a lot easier. Just the 60s, like, psychedelic shit is not my thing. I understand that Hold On Loosely is literally uh, three parts. To the B, D, and then it's a, it's a A with the C sharp in it. The end of the chorus, we have F sharp, B, uh, back to B. And then we have this cool uh, bridge part. So that's gonna be that. Um, so guitar wise, it's fine. This is not a good idea. I'm gonna lay down on the couch and I'm not gonna wanna learn the last song. By the way, that song, uh, Drift Away, Give Me the Beach Boys. It's not Give Me the Beach Boys, it's Give Me the Beat Boys. I always thought it was Give Me the Beach Boys. Dinner time now. I went to this, uh, uh, the first night there was this barbecue place. Uh, it's like a block that way, and then two blocks that way. Not that that means anything to you guys watching at home. It's like an iceberg salad, sort of. There's like brisket, and then there's tomatoes and onions, and like, it's good because I'm eating the tomatoes, and I don't like tomatoes. While I am doing this whole Life at Sea cruise gig, I also am gonna be producing a couple of songs. What I have to do is learn the song, decipher the lyrics, and send them, one, to the drummer so he can record drums over it, and then two, to the uh, vocalist. It's Barbara Rose. You guys have seen her on the channel before. Um, maybe not. You haven't seen her on this channel, but I've sent you guys to her channel before through my uh, community tab. Yeah, so I'm just going to be working on the song while I eat a salad, and then I'm going to review tomorrow's set list, which is Beatles versus Rolling Stones. It's kind of ironic because one of my students, he's like super obsessed with the uh, Beatles and a lot of the songs that I have taught him in the last couple months while working with him uh, are on this set list, so it's kind of cool. When that curtain, which I don't know if you can actually see it right now or not, but when that curtain is closed, it is dark in here. Like it's 10, 15 a.m. right now and I don't know, I feel like it's probably like 6 in the morning or something like that. Yeah. I should probably start my day. So it's a uh, rainy, miserable day in Queens, but um, pretty chill so far. I'm excited because I don't really have to review too much for today's set, so that's pretty dope. Um, but it is raining out, so it's not like there's gonna be anything to do outside. I did book a gym session for two. I got myself some brunch because I woke up at 10.30. So uh, yeah, today's plan is pretty much to uh, eat this, review the songs. I got my voice video from CJ. Thank you so much, CJ. Um, so now I have a proper warm up that I can always go back to um, while I'm doing this whole shenanigan show thing. Um, then I got to work at it too. Then we got rehearsal 4.30 to uh, whenever. And then I have to drive home and that's gonna suck. Also, I have to say the coffee at this hotel is my least favorite coffee on the planet. It might even be worse than the school that I teach at. We're gonna we're gonna review. This was what is it called? Rose's Bakery, Rose's Cafe. We got utensils. We got ketchup, which I'm gonna. I don't really like tomatoes and all that shit. But um, I think I don't know. But you know, they say something about how your taste buds change every seven years, and um, I don't know. I just feel like this, this ketchup is gonna taste good on this thing. This is a ham and cheese and mushroom and pepper omelet. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna put some ketchup on it. Let's see how it tastes. We're gonna take a delicious and somewhat nutritious bite. Let's see how it goes. Mmm. 
Yeah, I'm converted. I like ketchup now. Yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah. Yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah. Yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah, yeah, na, na, yeah. I'm getting the noise complete if I go any louder. I'm out of love, out of love. I photograph, picture of passion killer. You too much. You're the only one. I wanna touch Here yeah, come on flat top He come grooving up slowly He got juju apple He one holy roller He got Let me give you an update on this red light I'm not gonna say why I hated rehearsal Cause I'm not legally allowed to Cause I signed a contract But um Yeah I'm a little annoyed Something's not gonna happen that they want to happen. Look at this view, this is actually kind of cool. Once I get over my crippling fear of driving in Manhattan, this is actually really nice. I'm hoping to make it home. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I just had to drive the entire island of Manhattan. I'm on 11th Street right now, it's close to the river. And that's where I take my dad to the MS Clinic because I drove by the MS Clinic at CBS. So I know this area really well. And it mortifies me that I just drove that whole thing. And while it was really cool, and then, you know, I'm glad I can say I, I drove across the entire island of Manhattan. Head southwest on 11th Avenue toward West 42nd Street. While, what the f While I can say I'm glad I did that, I never, ever want to do it again in my entire life. So, uh, yeah. Smooth traveling from, well, I shouldn't say that yet. Let's get through the Lincoln Tunnel first. That'll be good. <laughs> Today's rehearsal was fun. I met with a voice coach and she was really good. She basically gave me a bunch of notes that CJ typically gives me, which is cool. CJ is my voice coach that I've been working with for like the last two years. She had me run one of the songs and I wasn't too familiar with how to sing it. Uh, or the words. I'm, I didn't memorize the words. You know, it was sort of an issue. Then she had me run something that I knew. And then she was like, oh yeah, you're a totally different person. Like you sound so much better. You just look a much better performer. And I'm thinking, like, no, no shit, I know the song. But, um, but the purpose is I have to, you know, get all these lyrics memorized. And I asked her, like, what's something I can do to help myself memorize lyrics? Because I notoriously suck at that. You can ask anybody I've ever played War Pigs with, I suck at that. She said, just write them down and keep writing them down. I have to do Don't Stop Believing by Journey. So I, uh, I'm going to start that right now. Just a small town. Girl. We were walking to start our lunch break on the sidewalk and next to a lucky penny. Oh shit, look at that. Next to a lucky penny, we find a full unopened four loco. <laughs> <laughs> Only in New York. <laughs> Show's a blast. Last day of rehearsal. Let's uh let's get it. It's a short one too, which is nice because I got a lot of stuff I gotta do before we go down to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. So uh yeah. Last day in the hot sweaty boiler room. 
Happy neck. This is gonna be like the last good pizza I have until June, probably. Look at that. This pizza is amazing. Oh man. And just like that, we are all packed. This is gonna be anxiety inducing tomorrow, but that's a tomorrow problem. I gotta get some sleep, because I gotta be up in about six hours, six hours, five and a half hours. I thought packing was gonna take less than two hours, but that's what happens when uh, you don't know what you're doing. So, um, cool. Travel day tomorrow. We're gonna be in Fort Lauderdale. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be sticky. And I will see you then on the flight.